Hi everyone, I have a really fun video for you today. We're gonna to make three different kinds of crostini. I was at a wedding recently and during the cocktail hour they kept coming around with all these beautiful appetizers and champagne of course. So we're going to do a little wine pairing and we're going to make three really beautiful crostini. I hope you enjoy it. Come on, let's go. For our first crostini, we have thinly sliced beets, apple, an orange vinaigrette, watercress, and goat cheese with thin slices of an Italian baguette, lightly toasted. I'm starting with the beets, which are raw, and I've thinly sliced with a vegetable peeler. Next, I'm adding slices of apple. This is a honey crisp apple. Then I'm adding some watercress leaves. If you watched my video about greens you can eat instead of kale, you'll remember that watercress is the number one superfood in the greens family. Now I'm drizzling on some of the orange vinaigrette, which I've made with a little bit of orange juice, some extra virgin olive oil, fresh thyme leaves, salt, and pepper. And lastly, I'm topping all of this with little dollops of goat cheese. For our second crostini, we have regatta cheese, smoked salmon, radicchio, and capers. We're using an Italian flatbread, lightly toasted. I'll start by spreading on the regatta cheese. This is part skim regatta. I see no difference between the part skim and the whole fat regatta, so I usually buy the skim. It's nice and creamy, and it helps plug up the holes in the bread. Next, I'm adding a layer of radicchio, then the smoked salmon, and I'm topping everything with a few capers. For our third crostini, we have the same Italian baguette, a smashed avocado, diced cucumber, a slice of lime, some cooked shrimp, and finely diced fresh jalapeno. I start by spreading on the avocado. Then I add the cucumber, top each with a shrimp, sprinkle on the fresh jalapeno, and top each with a squeeze of lime juice.
And now it's time for our wine selection. With the acidity of the citrus, the earthiness of the beets, and the smokiness of the salmon, a sparkling rosé is the perfect choice. Now you could probably go with any sparkling wine or any rosé, but I'm covering all my bases and I'm doing both. It's sparkling rosé, so cheers. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the Cristini. I tried to make a variety of colors and flavors. I think I'm going to do some more of these videos where I do food and wine pairings because I'm really into that right now, so I hope you are too. <laughs> so thanks again, and I will see you very soon. Bye!